your response to that meeting? I was kind of surprised. It's just uh, a kind of a delay tactic that we're going to have to pass an ordinance to ultimately get the same information we've been requesting with the resolution. I, I don't know the point of it, but we're going to go through whatever we need to do to get to the bottom of it. What about the fact that um, he kept saying witch hunt? This is all a witch hunt. It's not a witch hunt. I mean, we're just after the truth. Uh, we owe it to the citizens. Uh, you know, he talks about transparency. Why not be transparent tonight? Why not answer the questions tonight? So we'll, it, it's going to come out. We just have to stay the course and we'll see what happens. But I think ultimately we're going to find out. You were looking at some of the photos that Taryn and what the, yeah. they were talking about. Sure. Have you never seen those before? First time I saw them. Your response to that? Uh, I, under, I understand there might be a need to go out the city sometimes if there's an emergency and things like that. So I need to let that marinate and kind of look at it. I'm not saying we shouldn't be out the city maybe on occasion if there's some kind of emergency, but I don't think we need to be doing it uh, as kind of a norm. So I think uh, I asked the police chief to give us uh, for the last year, how many times we've been out the city to what sites so we can at least look at that. Okay, yeah. anything else, sir? That's about it. This meeting, um, brought to light several issues that uh, have been looming for quite some time. Um, there's several, there's at least two investigations that are ongoing right now. Uh, and we felt as a council that it was time to, uh, to make the public aware of, uh, of what's going on. So um, we chose to put two items on the agenda. The first one was to talk about the resolution that we had passed several months ago, which uh, the mayor has decided, well, you heard him tonight, he has, he has no intentions of, uh, of letting a resolution govern him, all right? So uh, he is gonna force our hand into to, uh, making an ordinance, which uh, he plans on vetoing, you know? So he's, uh, he's being defiant in, uh, in his actions as to what he does. Uh, and in my opinion, in this councilman's opinion, it's a waste of taxpayers dollars uh, to have someone drive you to uh, public places, uh, restaurants, uh, ballrooms, uh, that sort of thing. And uh, which absolutely has no business, uh, city business. I've heard several uh, instances about, uh, you know, people doing his errands like uh, picking up his dry cleaning and, and going do this and that, you know, just stuff that he should be doing on his own. You know, the mayor, the mayor of New Roads is a very important job, but I think, I think Mayor Dukes has a inflated uh, imagination of, of what the mayor's job entails here in New Roads. You know, uh, it, it's not about his image and it's not about, uh, Look, I can I can have a driver whenever I want, and I can have them. That's not what the that's, that's not his job. His job is what he tried to say tonight, is to promote and, and bring economic development in. But it's it's very hard to do that when you lose the trust of the people that put you there. It seems to come across as a lot of people, even in the public, were sitting there and they have lost trust. Is what you're saying? I think I think that's a that's an accurate statement. You know, because they're they're hearing. All of the things that we brought up tonight, they're hearing, and there's more, you know, and I, I'm not going to elaborate on, on what else is out there because I think there's, there's an investigation going on right now, and I'm not going to comment on an ongoing investigation, but uh, there, there's more. By who? By the Attorney General. Okay. And by the, uh, the District Attorney. Of this parish? Yes. Okay. That's two mayors in a row with the, that has brought shame, I think, upon the city of New Road, you know, by, by their actions. And it looks like we're, we're at least attempting to travel down that same road again because uh, there are investigations going on once again from the mayor of the city of New Road. And my point was, is, is, is this is time for this to stop. We need, we need to bring some integrity and some honest government back in that chair where we're not, we don't have people 
down here like, like you all and all of the channel stations looking for bad stories. I would love to sit here and tell you about all the wonderful things that go on in your road, but that's not the topic of conversation that, that, that we're having right now. That we're, having, we're having a conversation about all the things that's going wrong again. And that's, that's why Mayor Pro Tem is, is here tonight and, and Councilman Kellerman, we got together as councilmen because we, we swore an oath. When we raised our right hand and put our hand on that Bible, we swore an oath that we would, we would, we would govern with honesty and in integrity and obey the laws. And that's what we're doing. And if we don't bring to light to some of the things that we talked about tonight, we're, we're just, we're not giving, we're not, we're not doing our job. We're not doing our job. Last question. The issue about your credit card spending, then it was removed. Your response to that? He removed it. He, first of all, he put it on there in retaliation. Who is he? The mayor. The mayor put the it mayor. on there. The mayor put it on there in retaliation to the two items that I placed on there. Because he did not want this to air. Trust me. All right? He did not want the public to know any more than what they already know. Okay? So I guess in a knee-jerk reaction, he said, well, I'm a, I'm a, I got something on Clipper. So I'm going to... I'm gonna, I'm gonna shed some bad light on him, and I think it was, I think it was a weak and pathetic effort to divert the attention from him to me. All right. So with this, with this bogus credit card statement that that it doesn't even say what the money was spent on. All right. It's just a, it, it's a it's a payment made to seven hundred and ninety four dollars, and on February the eighth, two thousand and eleven. That's over 10 years ago, all right? It doesn't say Clipper went out and bought a bunch of new fishing poles. I bought, uh, 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 you know, uh, diamonds for my wife. It doesn't say any of that. It doesn't even say that I went to the National League of Cities Conference, but that's where I went, all right? My wife can tell you, because she was at my side. She went with me. This is a bill that paid for that conference and my hotel room, all right? The second page, is a $41.31 late fee because somebody in there didn't pay the bill on time. So he thought when he had this, he said, oh, look, I got Clipper spending $794 on the head. No, no, that's not what this is at all. It was a desperate attempt to divert the attention <laughs> from him to me. Uh, I brought to light that there are very serious allegations by um, former police officers that the mayor was using his detail for personal uses, things that our citizens would, uh, would not be pleased to uh, know that were going, were going on, um, going on dinner dates um, to um, bars, nightclubs, and things of that nature. Those are the things that were alleged. Those things were alleged uh, publicly. So today was the opportunity for the mayor to defend himself. Your response to this meeting? Yeah, well, actually, today was the second opportunity for the mayor to defend himself. In February, we uh, this council passed a resolution um, creating oversight uh, in, in the mayor's use of a detailed driver. Um, we, we found out that he had spent $24,000 in overtime on one person. And, um, you know, that's when after that, those allegations came out of the things that he was doing. And so, I mean, this was during a, a COVID restrictions where every, everything was closed. There were no business meetings uh, taking place outside of Zoom. So I think we, had, we knew that we had to act and the mayor would never answer any questions. And again, the night he refused to answer questions, as you saw. The question was put straight forward to him, straight forward to him, he refused to answer. And I think that as an elected official, we have to answer allegations of impropriety. What about the fact that he tried to hold you to a three minute limit? I mean, it, it was it was kind of ridiculous. Um, it was the first time anyone on the council had ever heard of such a thing for council members. Um, I mean, very rarely does he hold that to uh, citizens, only when it's issues that he doesn't want talked about to, uh, a lot. I think that he was really trying to muzzle us as much as possible. What's that say to you? It's That's the mayor. Yeah. It says that the, the, the mayor is not willing to be transparent. And when you're not willing to be transparent, in my opinion, it's normally because you have things that are hidden that you want to remain hidden. Because if those things are known, it wouldn't be favorable to you. What about the second issue? 
um, that you asked a very important question of the chief. If there were three officers in one of the photos, then where's everybody else patrolling within the city? A very important issue, um, a very serious issue as well. Um, first of all, that that is very concerning. But uh, you, you heard the mayor say that he owned this group home where these police are going. It's outside of the jurisdiction of our city police. And um, we have we have three. She said two to three people patrolling the streets. And if we have all three have outside of the city limits helping out the sheriff's department in some agreement, then that leaves us vulnerable. And I think that's very concerning uh, to the safety of our citizens. Um, I think it's a clear conflict of interest for a mayor to make an agreement like that, or to seek to make an agreement to provide services to a business that he owns. Uh, I think that most people wouldn't do that. Did you hear what Mr. White said as far as the third mayor and that he's bringing shame to this city? Yeah, I did. Your I did. response to that? Yeah, did. I mean, it's unfortunate. Um, I was, um, I, I knew what had taken place with the previous two mayors, and I really had um, great wishes that things would be different. Thought that there was every reason to be different with this mayor, being that he had the, tra he, he had the, the track record of the two previous mayors. So um, it's just uh, disconcerting that. Um, we're having to deal with these issues of alleged improprieties. Your response to the last item on the agenda, well, one of the items added on by the mayor, I guess, about Mr. White's credit card charge, and then it was removed. Yeah, you know, I, when I saw it added to the agenda, there were two thoughts that came to my mind. One was that it was a retaliatory move, um, either to um, inflict some type of uh, harm, cast aspersion on, aspersions on Mr. White's character, or maybe to intimidate him to remove those items from the agenda that he had placed on there. And secondly, um, I just, I knew that, I felt that we would not discuss it. I felt that the mayor was going to remove it because I knew that it was a non-issue. And I proved to be right in my, uh, in my estimation because he removed it. If you can say anything to the people of New Roads, what do you say? I would tell the people of New Rose that there are definitely good people that can um, hold that position, that there is definitely a good person that would be willing to lead and be the face of this city. I think that we need to consider our officials wisely and carefully, um, and hopefully we'll get that person next time. Anything else, sir? That's it. Thank you. You're quite welcome.